Hey everyone, welcome to Evolution Tesla, your source for the latest features, updates, and self-driving tech in the world of Tesla. Coming up, we'll head out on the highway to check out the new Navigate on Autopilot features in a variety of scenarios. So stick around and let's check it out. So I'm just at the Petro Canada here in Milton, where they have the new high-speed CCS and Chatamo chargers. Of course, I can't use them. I don't have an adapter at the moment, but it's a suitable starting point for our highway testing. I'm gonna head on over to the supercharger in Mississauga to test out the new Navigate on Autopilot. And as you can see, it's, it's already set to navigate on autopilot by default. That's one of the new settings. You can have it automatically start up for every journey, which I always do anyway, because I love testing it, so I like it. Last time I tested this on-ramp here, it didn't go so well. There weren't very good lines, and then I think it kind of weaved around, so can check it out here see if it uh, has any improvement just wait till I get on the on-ramp grab the lines yeah see they're really faded here well, it's doing pretty well Keep it in the lane here. Let's see, I think it might have been this. Okay, it's putting on its signal now. And yeah, actually, it gave me a bit of a warning there. Maybe we just haven't handled the wheel. So it should automatically get me on here, but yeah, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a little, uh, little fast turn there with that big truck in my blind spot. That wasn't so great, and this is gonna narrow too, so I gotta get around this truck. Hopefully it'll take me off on its own here. Oh yeah, it just vibrated the steering wheel. And is it gonna take me over? Yes, it will, but it's really aggressive. Like, I don't, I don't really like that when there's people coming up behind me there. I felt like it was gonna go right up to the line or maybe over it, so. The uh, merging is still a little, uh, a little rough here. Let's see how it does with the rest of the highway driving. Okay, so it's telling me here upcoming lane change. I felt the vibration there and it's, it's wanting to come in. I'm gonna give it a little gas. This guy's nice enough to let me in. Maybe I'll just come in so I don't waste his time. Yeah, it's still a little timid. It takes a while for those lane changes. So I'm just gonna keep my one hand on the wheel lightly. I can feel the vibration there. Puts on the signal and makes its way over. No input from me. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice if you let your hand lightly on the wheel like you're normally supposed to. You can really feel that vibration kind of gives you the warning. So you can kind of check around, make sure everything's clear for the lane change. Yeah, that's a nice feature. I like that. It keeps showing a motorcycle in the, uh, in the, in the uh, display here, but I'm thinking that's probably my GoPro. It probably sees my GoPro down on the door and it's getting confused. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't think it did that before. Hmm. Now, I wonder that may be messing up my lane changes and if it thinks there's a motorcycle back there, it might not want to make the lane changes. I may have to reposition that camera. Yeah, that could be why it's not 
automatically bringing me, oh, now it's trying to bring me over, but now someone's right in my blind spot. It's gonna wait for him to go by. Now this other guy's coming. He's not letting me in. So it's waiting. Now it makes its change. That's pretty good. So if it was more aggressive, it could have made it before that first one probably, but it's in no rush, I guess, even though Mad Max is enabled. Okay, so it wants to do a lane change soon. It's warning me on the screen here. It's getting around that truck. Now I got the vibration. Oh, this guy, oh, see this truck behind me was coming around me aggressively and then the car canceled. Now it's coming in. That's pretty good. You can see that truck coming. It wasn't really coming on us too quick, but I could tell that he was trying to get around us there. And the car knew not to uh, complete the lane change, waited for it to go by. That was pretty good. Let's see what happens with this. Okay, the vibration and the chime. And then it takes me over into the lane here. Now it's getting up to the full speed. And it's taking us off the highway with no input from me. Okay, so we're heading back on the highway here. Let's uh, see what it does with the merging. Last time it wasn't so great. Get my little auto steer icon to show up here. And it won't let me do more than 110 until I get on the highway. Luckily there's nobody around right now. So I just got to put my hand on the wheel before it actually does the lane change, I think. Just to let it know I'm here. That was much better, actually. That merge was way smoother, less aggressive at the end there. And I didn't feel like it was going to run right into the oncoming, or not oncoming, but the other lane. Okay, so now we're getting into some slow traffic here. It wants to m merge over. It gave me the alert. All's clear. <laughs> That's weird. It's so weird not having to confirm the lane change like that. But it, it does give you that, that uh, sense of security, having that alert with the wheel vibration. I really like that. Yeah, one of my biggest gripes with uh, the previous versions is that it was, it was not courteous enough to let people come in, especially when you're in the right lane and they want to merge onto the highway. I'd always have to disengage autopilot to let people in. And, uh, you know, I consider myself a pretty courteous driver and, you know, I'm not going to cut people off when they're coming onto the highway, so I always have to disengage. So apparently with this new version, it will do that and slow down to let people in front of you if they have their signal on. And it just disabled. Whoa, it's trying to do some weird <laughs> thing on the uh, clover leaf there. I don't know what that was about. Another fellow Tesla. So there's a new lane that forms up ahead here. Let's see if I get the confirmation vibration here. Oh no, it's not gonna take me in there. Normally it automatically pulls me into that lane on the left here. Whoa, now it's not sure where it's going. Okay, that was not good. It couldn't decide which uh, lane to go in, which is unusual. Usually with Navigate on Autopilot, it's, it's pretty confident in which lane it wants to go in, but it really hesitated at that, uh, at that split. Okay, now it's gonna want me to change lanes again, right when someone's in my blind spot. Oh, now it's going to the right, no. Nope. Now it doesn't know what it's doing, okay. 
little hesitation there. Yeah, that was a little freaky because I was, it vibrated and I thought it was gonna go to the left and then it started to go to the right. So that's one thing to watch out for. You wanna check and make sure you know which way it's gonna go after it vibrates. Okay, now it's wanting me to get over again. I don't know why it's getting way over here. I guess it wants me in the collectors. Yeah, it wants me to get off here. Oh, it's taking me up to 427 to avoid some traffic. Okay. Actually, I'm just gonna get off here. I don't know what that beep was. That was the, the blind spot warning chime or not? See what happens with this narrowing lane here. Is it gonna get over on its own? No, it just drives right off. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not ready for those yet. Okay, got the vibration and chime. It's taking me over. Still a pretty good hesitation there. I would expect it to go a little, a little quicker, but I gotta manually pump it up to proper highway speeds. Let's see if it lets this guy in here. Yeah, he's quite a ways ahead though. Okay, so we're coming up to a really busy merge here. Lots of traffic, very tight uh, bumper to bumper spacing here. So we'll see how it does. I have a feeling it's gonna really struggle to get over if it tries to get into those other lanes, because it's just, it's still too timid, I think, to really squeeze into a tight spot. But we'll see what it does here. We'll see if it lets this go. Well, he didn't have a signal on, so couldn't really test the signal detection for merging. Now there's hardly any lines here, so the car seems to be okay. Okay, this guy's got a signal on. No, it's being a d and not letting this guy in. Sorry, man, I'll let you in. Okay, so it didn't seem to work there for letting this guy in. It says there's an upcoming lane change. Okay, it's gonna try and get in here. And where is it going? Could have made it that, in that spot, but now it's, okay, now it's gonna really cut in close to this guy. That's interesting. Well, it made it in there okay. Let's see if it's gonna try to get in after this white SUV here. No, for some reason, it's having some issue with these, uh, these overpasses and cloverleafs here because it wanted to take us off, off the highway even though that's not the way we're going. And now it's back, so Seems we've detected a bit of a bug here. <laughs> One thing you'll notice in the new software as well is if I put my signal on now to make a lane change, not only does the line light up red, but the car in that lane does as well. So it's, it's much, much more visually uh, striking. You can even see it in your peripheral vision a lot better if there's a car in your blind spot in the display there, which I like. Okay, so now we're at 1.8 kilometers from our exit. Let's force it to do like a last minute exit here. So it's slowly letting that guy go. It's got a signal on for a long time. And then it makes its lane change. So a little slow, but not bad. That's gonna have to do another one right away. It's really close to this guy. I don't know why it's speeding up. Whoa, this guy's right into our lane. Okay, car didn't really react to that, but I was ready to swerve there. And it made the lane change. So that was weird. I would have expected the car to slow down a bit more so we could get behind that guy. And it should take me off the highway on its own because it knows this is our exit. Let's see how it handles the 
lights at the end here. It's gonna disable, navigate on autopilot, just regular autopilot now. Handling the curve nicely. And actually, I'm gonna have to signal over here. That was a nice smooth lane change there. And there's some vehicles there, so it's gonna stop behind them automatically. So yeah, that was a pretty successful first test of the new Navigate on Autopilot. Still some, some weird issues, but uh, it's definitely getting more advanced with the automatic lane changes. That's pretty fun. <laughs> it's fun to, to see what it's gonna do. All right, well, thanks for watching, and we will see you back here after the next update. Have a good one. Well, that was pretty exciting. We're getting really close to full self-driving on the highway with this new update. I'd still like the lane changes to be a little more aggressive and responsive, especially when merging onto the highway, but I'm sure it's gonna get a lot better as Tesla software gets more confident. Come back soon for our next video where we'll put autopilot to the ultimate test with our continued extreme autopilot testing on the gauntlet and on the snake. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you found these videos useful in your decision to purchase a Tesla vehicle, you can use my referral code here to get both of us a thousand miles of free supercharging. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll subscribe and click that bell so you can stay up to date with the latest updates in self-driving tech from Tesla. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see here in the future, let me know in the comments below. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time on Evolution Tesla.